What's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. In this question, we have to find an expression for the time a car travels if it covers a distance of this here. So this expression, x squared plus xy minus 6y squared over x squared plus 7xy plus 12y squared at a speed of this expression, x squared minus xy minus 2y squared all over x squared plus 3xy minus 4y squared. Now we know um, distance equals what? It's speed times time. Speed is equal to distance over time. And then time is equal to distance over speed. And in this case, we're looking for time. So we're going to be taking the distance and dividing it by the speed. And if you don't want to show it in a fraction like this, you can show like this as well. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. So plugging that using this um, formula with these expressions we know that the time is going to be what the distance which is this expression so x squared plus x y minus 6 y squared all over divided by the speed which is this expression here. So x squared minus xy minus 2y squared all over x squared plus 3xy minus 4y squared. So we're taking one rational expression, dividing it by the other. And then from here, what you got to do is first step when you're dividing rational expressions, you got to factor everything. So this numerator here, that would factor into uh, x plus 3y, x minus 2y. So you would do it by decomposition, two numbers that multiply to 1 times negative 6, so multiply to negative 6, add up to 1, would be a positive 3, negative 2. You decompose this factor by grouping. And then we have x squared plus 7xy minus 12y squared. I just noticed that I wrote minus instead of plus, so this here should be a plus. Um, x squared plus 7xy plus 12y squared, that would factor into x plus uh, 4y, x plus 3y, like that. And then we're going to be dividing. Here, that numerator would factor into x minus 2y, x plus y. And then uh, this here would factor into x plus 4y, x minus y, like that. All right, so we are dividing. So if we do want to get the restrictions, we could do it now. Again, they didn't ask for them, but uh, we can do it anyway. So x plus 4y cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal negative 4y. It's one of the restrictions here x plus 3y cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal negative 3y. Another set of restrictions. Since we're dividing, we have to look at both the numerator and denominator. So here, x minus 2y cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal 2y. Right? If we isolate for the x. x plus y cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal negative y. Here, x plus 4y cannot equal 0. That's the same as this here. We already took care of that. So x cannot equal negative 4y. Then x minus y cannot equal 0. This here, which means x cannot equal positive y. Plus or minus y. You could combine these if you want. So in this case, there are five restrictions. This factor, this factor, uh, this factor, this factor, and then that factor right there. These two are the same. So remember, since you're dividing, you have to look at both the numerator and denominator for the restrictions of the rational expression that you're dividing by. Not this rational expression, the one that you are dividing by. Okay, from here, we are dividing. So what we can do is we could flip 
that um, second fraction and then change it into multiplication. So this would be x plus 4y, x plus 3y. I'm going to be multiplying. This would be x plus 4y, x minus y, all over x minus 2y, x plus y, like that. And then we just look for stuff that cancels out. So x plus 4y cancels out, x minus 2y's cancel out, x plus 3y's cancel out. And then x minus y, x plus y, those are different. So that is what it simplifies to. That is the simplified expression for the time the car travels, if it travels this distance at this speed. That's your final answer right there. And if they do ask for the restrictions, these are the five restrictions.